Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Minecraft Monday! In today's video we are going to be looking at the Simple Guns reworked mod. As you can see I have a lot of chests right here and in all of these chests is one gun and we're going to be testing them out all today and be sure in the comments down below to let me know what your favorite gun was out of this video. Well, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. We have this chest right here in the beginning of our um, little shooting range, if I can call it that. And uh, we are going to start off by looking at all of the different types of ammunition. We start off with the pistol bullet, then we have the shotgun ammo, then we have the rifle bullet, then we have the sniper ammo, the rocket, and the fuel tank. And now for the crafting recipes, for 5 pistol bullets you need 1 gunpowder, 5 iron nuggets and a stone button. For the shotgun ammo you need gravel, um, 4 iron nuggets, gunpowder, 1 stone button and 2 golden nuggets. Then for the rifle bullet you need 2 golden nuggets, 2 pieces of gunpowder, 4 iron nuggets and 1 stone button. For your sniper ammo you need 1 diamond, 4 iron nuggets, 3 gunpowders and 1 stone button. And for the rocket you need TNT and one iron ingot, it's kind of expensive. For the fuel tank you need two blaze powders, one magma cream, one water bucket and one empty fuel tank. And the empty fuel tank is made from one copper ingot surrounded by four iron ingots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these all and place them in my inventory because we are actually going to be testing these out. Starting off with our first chest which is going to contain the revolver. This looks really cool. As you can see in my hand, it's really menacing. And as you can see, when we uh, look at the right of the screen, it almost uh, takes up the whole right hand of the screen. You can see my revolver. Um, on screen, it says ammo 0.0. If you press R, it's going to instantly uh, reload six bullets into our magazine. Then I'm going to step on top of this red line and I'm going to shoot. And as you can see, this isn't really um, like my previous gun mod, where, where I reviewed uh, Mr. Crayfish's gun mod. This actually has a projectile, so it's actually like you could compare it to an arrow from a bow or from a crossbow. You can actually see the ammunition um, shoot out of the gun, which I quite like. And yeah, the only thing I do kind of miss from Mr. Crayfish's gun mod that isn't in this mod is the fact that you can't aim down your sights. You just have to use, um, well, hip fire, which in my opinion feels kind of scuffed, but yeah, it, it can do. It's still a really cool gun. And yeah, that was a revolver. It uses pistol bullets, um, which is kind of, um, that makes a lot of sense. For our second gun, we have the pistol, which of course also, use pis also uses pistol bullets. Um, let's reload this gun, and it has 15 bullets. But you have to get kind of close to hit your targets, and you can really spam click this one. Um, the damage is lower than um, the revolver, but this one, well, you have way more ammo in your chamber, and you can shoot way faster. Um, behind every shot so hmm in my opinion this kind of well I like the design of the um, revolver better but I do think this one is better um, than the revolver in my opinion okay next up we have the submachine gun which has a really cool design in my opinion but I think we kind of have to get up close for um, this gun when we reload it it has 22 bullets and it uses um, well it used up all of our pistol bullets. I'm going to grab a bit more. I don't know if we actually fully chambered this um, gun now. No, it's actually 32. So it's half a stack of bullets that you're just going to put in this gun. And I think this is a fully automatic. So yes, it's a fully automatic. <laughs> it does less damage than um, the pistol, but it has an... In oh my god, all my... All my bullets are already gone. I thought I had way more bullets. Oh, well, all of my bullets are already gone. Um, the submachine gun, I should probably show you guys the crafting recipes. Okay, revolver real quick, a trip wire hook, um, some planks, two iron ingots, two iron nuggets, and a stone button. Then we have the pistol. The pistol is four iron ingots, um, a stone button, iron ingot, and a trip wire hook. 
Then for the submachine gun, um, I already showed you guys three iron nuggets, um, a pistol and two iron ingots. So this kind of, it kind of acts like an upgrade to the pistol, which is pretty cool. But I don't really like spammy guns, so I would still go for the pistol instead of the submachine gun. Now we have the Tommy gun, so we're actually moving from the pistol bullets, I think, if I... Oh no, it still uses pistol bullets. How many can it fit? 54, that's its limit, okay. Let's see if we can hit our target from here. Wow. It can actually hit its target from this far away. Oh my god. And as you can see, we can also spam. Well, I'm just holding down my right mouse button. And we are just obliterating this enemy. Um, if that were a player, he would have definitely been dead. Okay. The Tommy gun. <laughs> new favorite, definitely. Um, this is also going to act like an upgrade to the submachine gun. Um, four iron ingots and some planks and a submachine gun in the middle and then you can get a Tommy gun. Okay, I didn't actually know that this was going to be like um, craft that gun first and upgrade and upgrade and upgrade. But I actually quite like it. Okay, so the Tommy gun is actually the just the full upgrade to the submachine gun, I think. Now we have the shotgun, which looks really cool. It looks... If someone came up to me with this thing, I would actually just be scared. Okay, we're going to try and shoot from here. No, we missed. Okay, from here. Okay, that was actually good. Now from up close. 16 damage. And as you can see, this gun actually has a cooldown and it uses the shotgun ammo. So we can get up close. Oh, I just... I just got hit by my own bullets that ricocheted off of the enemy. Oh my god. As you can see, we are averaging around 14 to 17 damage, which is pretty good. Oh, that was a 12, that was an 11. Okay. But overall, pretty good gun. Um, also, one thing I do want to mention is that these, gun these guns actually have durability. So if you use them enough, they will actually break after a while, which is pretty normal and it's pretty logical but yeah hmm let's see can you um you can't really repair them i think no you can only enchant them with unbreaking so their durability um depletes less quickly but yeah you kind of have to make the gun over and over again if it's if it breaks so pretty sad and I don't think you can put mending on it you can put mending on it okay that makes it pretty good overall then um, the shotgun can be made from two iron ingots a tripwire hook a stone button and some planks this is actually really good um, for a beginner's gun if well if you're not playing modern Minecraft the only real threats in the world are going to be zombies and skeletons in the beginning of the game so this could be a really good beginner's gun to just pop some zombies <laughs> if you catch my drift. Um, so this one would actually be really good. Okay, moving on. We have the double barrel shotgun, which is just going to be the shotgun, but it will, um, yeah, it just, it's just sawed off. So I think we actually even have to get closer to this one. Yes. So we actually have to get really close. I don't think we can shoot. Um, from further away, okay, barely from here, this is going to, nope, so this is actually the limit, so an enemy that would be over there, this would be your limit, so I think the normal shotgun is a little bit better, um, let's look at the crafting recipe, you actually need one iron nugget to get the double barrel shotgun, um, I, I like the shotgun more, um, the Tommy gun is still my favorite of course. Um, moving on, we have the assault rifle. This is going to be the gun that uses the rifle bullets and makes a pretty cool sound if I do say so myself. And has some crazy range. What? Okay, no. We can still hit our targets from behind the chest and you can spam fire it of course. And just completely obliterate your enemy. This is probably the best gun in the mod. Um, so you use your submachine gun, you take four iron ingots, some 
planks and an iron nugget and you get the assault rifle. So the Tommy gun wasn't really the fully upgraded version of the um, submachine gun. You can actually choose which one you want to upgrade to, which is really cool. But in my opinion, that's really cool that the mod creator gives you the, well, the option to choose which gun you actually want. Really cool. Okay, moving on. We have the DMR. I just reloaded this bad boy and it uses the rifle bullet. So we're actually going to take a little bit more of those rifle bullets. Now we have eight. And this is kind of like our first sniper. Let's all the way back here. And we still hit it. Okay. Still hit it. Still hit it. Wow. Reload again. Wait. Let's try and shoot that chicken. Come on. The chicken is dead. It's like... Yes. Okay. The DMR. Pretty good. For long range long range combat and if we keep our um nope you can spam fire this one but it is a pretty fast um shooting speed so that's really good now we have the heavy sniper which is our first gun that will be using the sniper ammo um i don't think this will do it um justice nope that was 32 damage and we actually get some a slowness effect. Let's move all the way back here and shoot and we still hit it. Wow. Okay, let's move back a little bit more. Still hit it. 22 damage. Let's try from here. Still hit it. Oh my god. The further you get, well the further you move away from the target the less damage it does. Oh, we we missed our first shot. Okay. Nope, we missed again. Okay, but this is some incredibly insane range. Oh my god. Um, I actually want to see how much damage it does up close. Let's just shoot it straight in the head. 27. Okay, pretty good. After you shoot, you do get the slowness effect because otherwise it would be a little bit too broken, I think. But um, it's actually really cool. So when you shoot at someone with a heavy sniper, they will like hear the sound and they will know which, well, where it came from. So it's it kind of the slowness effect gives you, gives your opponent the um, ability to actually come and get you. So you don't just bang, bang, bang and, and he's dead. No, this one will actually be really well, it's actually really balanced if you think about it in a PvP kind of setting. Okay, now to the fun guns. We have the bazooka. When we reload it, you can actually see one of the rockets um, get into the bazooka. I really want to shoot at the dummy, but I think the whole um, shooting range will be blown up. So let's try it first in the grass. Yes, it definitely blows up stuff. And it's a pretty good crater we left. That's almost a stack of dirt oh my god and if you think about it this could actually be really fun in just like a vanilla world where where you have to like um like clear a, a big place of a lot of annoying blocks to get out of the way like see i made a pretty big crater just with three or four rockets that's actually pretty good um i kind of like the bazooka um, at the end of the video, I will uh, blow up the whole thing with the bazooka or with the flamethrower. This one is one of my favorites. Um, we used our um, fuel tank and now we actually get an empty fuel tank. So if you want to refill it up again, we need water, magma cream and two blaze powders like I said before. Um, I am quite curious how this actually works. Oh my god, that's really cool, but it's already, I already used half of its um, ammo. Um, but it does do fire damage, so if you use this on an enemy or an entity or a mob or whatever, it will actually burn. Um, but um, I don't think this is one of the better guns. Um, if I take a lot of these fuel cans, can I actually fill it up? 
farther than 20 ammo? Nope. It stays at 20 ammo. That's... Hmm... That's a little bit of... Like, you shoot three times and it's already gone. Hmm... I don't know how to feel about the flamethrower. It was a pretty fun concept, but... Hmm... I don't know how to feel about it. Um, now, we have a sniper. I know it kind of looks like a grenade or something, but no, it's a sniper. The, the model just got kind of weirded out. Um, the sniper is made from three iron ingots, two planks, um, an iron nugget, and a tripwire hook. It uses the sniper ammo, I think. And, as all the other snipers, is incredibly fun to use and has a lot of range, as you can see. And the Sloan, you kind of have to choose between this sniper, the DMR, or the heavy sniper. That sniper shoots, um, well, I would say medium range at sniper level, and it gives you the Sloan effect still, but you can, it's not really um, that bad. But the heavy sniper does a lot of damage, but gives you a slowness effect for a long time, so, hmm. I don't know which one I would choose. I think I would still go for the Tommy Gun. It has a lot of, um, a lot of ammo. It does a good amount of damage, and the bullets are the cheaper ones. Um, if you're actually using these snipers or the flamethrower, you are, you are needing a lot of resources to just keep the fuel going. So. I would go for the Tommy Gun in my opinion. I also just realized that I didn't show you guys um, all of these cra crafting recipes, so I'm going to go over them real quick. This is the crafting recipe for the DMR. This is the crafting recipe for the Heavy Sniper. You actually need a sniper to make the Heavy Sniper. Pretty funny. Then we have um, the Bazooka. It's made from redstone and two blocks of iron. Iron ingot and an iron nugget and some planks. Wow, the Bazooka is really expensive um the flamethrower copper um ingot a block of iron again iron ingot iron ingot an empty fuel tank and a torch and then the sniper is made from two wooden planks three iron ingots and an iron nugget and a tripwire hook well guys that's going to be it for today's video i thank you all so much for watching if you liked it be sure to leave a like and if you want to see more videos like these from me be sure to subscribe um don't forget the discord server and yeah until the next video, bye bye.